What's up guys, this is James Blom with OnRPG.com with your weekly news update for the week of April 15th. And this week only at OnRPG, it's all about that PAX coverage. Starting out with Spunkify interviewing the high-res developer team on their new hybrid MOBA, Smite. With this game, you can find everything you'd like in any MOBA wrapped up into the view of a third-person shooter with the Unreal 3 engine. Get the details in Spunkify's interview with Chief Operating Officer Todd Harris. Also, Dizzy PW was lucky enough to score an interview with 2K Games' Civ 5 producer Dennis Shirk. This game is a personal favorite of Dizzy's and he finds out in his interview how the Gods and Kings expansion is set to surpass the ever popular and award winning Civ 4 title Beyond the Sword. After that, head back over to Spunkify with Firefall and his interview with Matt DeWald. Matt talks about what makes Firefall rock while Spunkify gets a good piece of the action. Dizzy then makes his way over to the Turbine booth to bring us an excellent article on the newest expansion to Dungeons & Dragons Online, Menace of the Underdark. The article discusses the epic druid class along with their pets and the forgotten realms controlled by Lolith, a gigantic drow goddess that can only be described as half dart elf and half big ass spider. And while everyone else on the On RPG team had a blast at PAX, I was stuck here with homework. But I did manage to get out my impressions of the fun sandbox shooter Brick Force. So if you're not all burned out on coverage, be sure to check out my video impressions of Brick Force. Ah, and don't forget that just before PAX, Dizzy PW spent time in Korea at the Webson headquarters thanks to everyone who voted for the best C9 article on the net. And just like he said, he brought back some info on the new classes within C9. The Berserker, Shadow, and Reapers class, along with a new Arctic Combat story trailer. Check out all the coverage of Dizzy PW at Webson HQ in Korea, only at OnRPG. As for the news this week, Guild Wars 2 pre-orders are now available, and with this comes an epic trailer to show you just why that's a big deal. Pick up the Collector's Edition to include, among plenty of other things, a 112 page making of Guild Wars 2 book. This weekend marks the start of the tournament registration beta test for Webzen and C9. Starting now until May 4th, the test will be open to users with a C9 beta key. There are a couple things you'll need to do to get into the online PvP tournament on April 25th, but the top final qualifying teams will be invited to the offline championship tournament held at E3 with a grand prize of $10,000. Frogster and Terra EU has thrown down the gauntlet and invites players to take part in the final closed beta phase for Terra. Players will get the chance to tackle the ominous threat that is advancing through the lands of Terra. Head over to OnRVG to check out the list of times for the planned invasions and don't forget to reserve your character name prior to the official release on May 3rd. Even more news for Terra as it releases a new race spotlight, this time featuring the proud and powerful High Elves. And if you're looking for more PAX info, Terra has it with a video recap of the new dungeon and voice acting talent behind the game. Check out the Terra Pax East video to learn what happens in Twilight Valley. Wargaming.net pushes out a new trailer celebrating one year live for World of Tanks, showing off all its success and glory as it shares its numerous praises. Check out the trailer in full at OnRPG.com. OnRPG has a boatload of giveaways this week including a special giveaway event for Spirit Tales and you don't even need a key to qualify for some sweet swag. Players who register for a free Spirit Tales account at the official Spirit Tales website will be entered for a chance to win over two grand in exclusive prizes like a new 16 gig iPad, an NVIDIA GeForce GTX 560, as well as other cool prizes. Check it out at the events section at RPG. If you hadn't had the chance to play the world's fastest shooter Tribe to Sin, then I suggest you do so. I also suggest you pick up a spin fuser from the giveaway section at RPG. You know, to let you ease into the game. The anime-styled online golf game Pangya United is celebrating its third year anniversary with a special tournament, and On RPG has the goods to help you out. Grab a code and hit the course with a brand new ball and club in hand. As I mentioned earlier, Webzen is holding a tournament registration beta test for C9 ultimately leading up to the offline PvP championship during E3 with a grand prize of $10,000. One of the requirements is to have a beta key, and RPG's got you covered with a C9 beta key giveaway. Get yours at the events section at RPG.com. On RPG has one last giveaway this week, and this one is for our video viewers. At the end of the week, we will randomly choose one viewer to win a beta key for Raiders, and two other viewers to win codes for 250 gold with Tribes Ascend.
All you have to do is subscribe to our YouTube channel, like the video, leave a comment about your favorite game at this year's PAX, and hope to win. And that's going to wrap up the news for this week. If you haven't already, check out all of our PAX videos and articles. For more information about this week's news, check the links in the description below. Otherwise, just hang out at onrpg.com, but first hit that like button. Subscribe and comment to get a chance at a Raiders beta key. I'm James Blonde. See you out there, gamers. I'll go for the enemy flag.